welcome to Canadian Flight Center. Today is a quick update on provincial attestation letters that many students have questions about and it relates not only to flight training students but basically all students arriving to Canada. So in uh, January 2024, Immigration Canada announced a new system of provincial attestation letters to limit the number of students arriving to Canada and as per the numbers from the government that we have seen, it's about 35% reduction, overall reduction of the number of new students in Canada. And that applies across the board to all the students arriving to Canada with just a few exceptions that I will mention. So, uh, first of all, a uh, big disclaimer, we are not representing the government, we are just uh, reporting the information that we, as a training institution, received when we uh, provide professional training. And we are also not immigration consultants, so this is just, again, a summary of the information we received as a flight school, and it is not an immigration advice. If you are not sure about the procedure, we do encourage you to uh, consult a trained, a certified professional in that area. Apparently, in an effort to address the uh, housing crisis in Canada, uh, the government decided to reduce the number of international students arriving in the country. On the political level and some opinions of the industry, we will have a separate video that I will link below. This video is aiming to provide uh, practical information for the students planning on training in Canada. The provincial attestation letter is something that you would need to request, you would need to apply for with the training institution you are registering with. Every training institution will have their own procedure for distributing those letters, for allocating those letters. So when in the past you registered for a program, you would receive a letter of acceptance. The letter of acceptance confirms that you have been enrolled in a given program. So for example, in our case, commercial pilot program, professional pilot program, flight instructor program, upon registration had an issued letter of acceptance. And this letter of acceptance applies to everybody. And if you are an enrolled student, you are entitled to receive a letter that confirms your enrollment. Those letters are used for multiple purposes. It can be just for your records. It can be for uh, your visa application. It can be for Canadian students as a confirmation to access their training funds like RESP, or potential student loans uh, with a bank or otherwise. So this is basically just a confirmation of the enrollment into the program. A provincial attestation letter, in addition, confirms that a student who has that letter has been accounted for in a limit allocated for that year for international students in Canada and in that given province. The number of students allowed countrywide then is divided, allocated to each province, and then each province allocates to all post-secondary training institutions a specific number uh, based on various factors of how many attestation letters uh, each training institution will be able to issue throughout the next year. Students will apply to the training institution to receive one of those, basically to be accounted in the limit allocated to the institution, to the province, and to the country. So if you have a letter of acceptance, it does not automatically guarantee that you will have a provincial attestation letter. And in fact, you might not even need it. So even if you are an international student, there is a number of categories that are exempt from the provincial attestation letter um, for their studies. First of all, students who are already in Canada for whatever reason 
if they might be their accompanying family member, if they are already students renewing their study uh, permits, maybe switching from one to another. Provincial attestation letter will apply only to the applications outside Canada and students who are in Canada or applicants who are in Canada already do not need one. So this is one. Uh, for masters and PhD programs, you will not need one. Uh, as per the information we have so far, typically doesn't apply to students of flight schools. Uh, if you are studying on a program that is under six months duration, like for example a flight instructor program is a three months program, you will not need one. This is something you can potentially complete even on um, visitors visa. And uh, also, if you uh, are enrolled in the program where 50% uh, or more can be completed online, again, you will not need an attestation letter. Again, this is the information we have so far. It doesn't mean that tomorrow Immigration Canada will implement any changes, but this is what we know so far. Those are the category of exceptions. So if today, for example, you are applying for a study duration of one year or three year program that requires more than 50% of time for you to be present in person, then you will need an attestation letter. To obtain one, this is something that will be each training institution specific and each training institution will have their own selection process to allocate that allowed limit for the year for those students. I hope it clarifies the, the process for the students uh, who are applying and need an attestation letter. They will need to have it at the moment when they bring their application to uh, the Canadian Embassy. And keep in mind that having that attestation letter is yet not a guarantee that your study permit application will be approved find out all the criteria applicable. It could be language, could be financial, could be all sorts of things that the Canadian government will require you to demonstrate to be able to enter Canada as a student. So provincial attestation letter is only one of several puzzle pieces you will need. It is not a guarantee of the approval. So do your homework and make sure your application as complete as possible. Uh, and having all the boxes checked off. Uh, if you need a further advice, we encourage you to uh, seek help of an immigration consultant uh, that would be able to guide you further and review your specific application. Good luck and hope to see you in Canada soon.